We're back! Finally! Terraria! <laughs> Small blocks, not for children under the age of five. Anyway, this is our new hard mode house. <laughs> we have my throne up at the top. We have everything set up. We have a room for the wizard. Once we find him. Everyone else is set up and they're all sitting next to their uh, statues, which I didn't plan for, but is pretty cool. <laughs> and here's the good old Tanner. He's okay, folks. He's okay. Yeah, Helen fixed him all up. He, you can't even see the burns anymore. Anyway, we're going west, folks. We're going west to uh, to the cleanse chasms Journey. to destroy some demon altars. We're journeying to the west. <laughs> Do I have torches? I don't have torches. Yeah, you two actually probably should get torches because we are going to be going I into. Think I have torches. I... We are going to be going into. Uh, a completely new environment. One that you have never experienced well, before. Thing, we just wear, uh, torches, we're gonna die. So you're gonna want to be planting them and have fingers on your hotkeys. Uh, All of the chests we've accumulated are down below in the basement, in the storeroom. Did we perhaps use them all? No. I know we used a lot of them, but I don't think we used all of them. I've got a few. Cause like there Here's 99 on here on this very left gold chest. Yeah, over here you missed them. Oh, now the now the friggin' yep. mic is gonna buzz. Ah. Uh. I, 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 I heard the fees I heard the feedback viewers I'm really sorry about that oh yeah glide before you go anywhere Probably yeah. should let me go oh, in front. Hello. Welcome to a to a land of sights and sounds. The likes of which you've never seen before. Welcome to Rainbow uh, Puke Land. <laughs> I could make a homestuck reference. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing it wasn't nighttime so you all could hear the hallow music. Oh boy, gastropods! These guys have a these guys have a ranged attack. Oh, wraith, wraiths! It starts. Wraiths. They can pass through blocks and actually climb their way up a building by phasing through blocks. Gastropods will be your main source of large quantities of gel for your flamethrower in hard mode. That is, if you build a flamethrower. Otherwise, they're just torch fodder. Okay. And, and pixies... Pixies, uh... Great. Pixies drop pixie dust, which you can use for greater healing potions.
By the way, yeah. Warm, right? Well, we need to. You can, use them, you can make the orbs out of them. Welcome to the Pearl oh, yeah, Sand yeah. Desert. Pearl Sand. And blue cactus. Blue green. Unicorns! As you can see, <laughs> ah, that's a holy mummy. Music! Yay! Yes, I played this. Oh, dear Lord. Hello! Jumping into the past. Oh no, confusion! Confusion! Ah! Hmm, fix it now. Your controls are reversed! Thurr, 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 thurr! Oh! Oh, I got critted. See, that's how hard they hit even with full hollowed armor. 122 Was damage. I, I could have been the only one that heard that sound. What? What sound? The sound. Um, that's the mummies. Yeah, it's called the mummy. Oh. Emotep! No Emotep! <laughs> First one, first one was great. Second one was okay. Third one was bleh. Scorpion King movies were. Mm. I just like the first two mummy movies. That's, That's what I said. I first one was great. Second one was okay. Then keep running. And the jungle outpost. Yay! The jungle is un. Oh my! Anglerfish! The jungle now has anglerfish in addition to piranhas. We are being followed by It's Navi, she wants her revenge! What are you, what are you doing fighting them? Run! Then run! They'll follow you into me and I'll cut them to pieces. The jungle is completely unchanged by hard mode. I'm assuming Red Digit plans to change this in later patches, but for right now it's one of the safest places in hard mode to build a house. Slimes manageable. And we're out of it now. Yes, the jungle... The hallow cannot spread through the jungle. The corruption can, because the corruption is capable of turning dirt into corrupt grass. It's actually capable of turning mud into corrupted grass. No, 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 no. The corruption can destroy jungle. That's why I put that... that that's why I, uh, when I made this map, I was very particular about uh, not having a jungle adjacent to a corruption zone. Hell, it's why I destroyed the western corruption in the first place, so it couldn't spread into the jungle and destroy it. And we are at the cleansed chasms. Read the uh, little sign. I read it. Uh, goblin... That's just a goblin scout. What? 
Goblin scouts. Goblin scouts. They always show up at the edge of the world. They dropped a tattered cloth that you can use to make the battle standard. Hmm. Down the hole! Be careful if you don't have the, uh... We're gonna this go... Did, We're gonna go right to left here, so, uh... Uh, do I need my flippers to kind of switch over to the, um... Horseshoe? Yeah, switch over to the horseshoe, you should be fine. As you can see, the corruption is gone, but... There is. Okay, we obviously need my phone hammer. Oh, yes, you do, because There's otherwise. It, over here, to the edge. Excuse me, beep beep. Cobalt! Cool. Mithril, adamantite, cobalt. And it repeats. Also, destroying demon altars will unleash wraiths. And there is a 50% chance with every d destroyed demon altar that you will also. Get right. random corruption and hallow oh, in your, uh... Oh, I'm bringing this to break the place, guys. There was something that fell the down there. Don't that might be it. Yeah, Doorbell? Uh... I don't know if that's just me, but I don't think the raids are being affected by the knockback. I don't think they are. There's something Then again, they that. fly, so... Needed coins. We don't need copper anymore, though. We do need copper for the boss There's summoning items. There, we do need copper bars for the uh, mechanical boss summon items. Oh, okay. Why do you think I marked it? I'll at least get the iron. Yeah, we need copper bars and iron bars for the boss summoning items. While you two are doing that, I'm gonna go finish off the rest of the altars. The Hamdrax is powerful enough to destroy them. I'll get it. Where'd you go? I told you I was gonna go and finish off the other demon altars. Hamdrax, baby. Wraith's <laughs> incoming. Oh crap. There we go. Ooh, no. more of them. <laughs> it's resounding the whole time. <laughs> hey, another one. Phone hammer time. Boom. I wasn't clutter, thank you, so. I know a little bit about it, but Here comes our uh -huh. It's a hallowed, uh, it's a hallowed instrument. All hallowed gear, except the uh, hamdrax, will will uh, produce light when uh, swung. I'm finding more over here, so I'm just going this way now. Leave me alone. And I'm being chased by like every friggin' wraith in this room. You and me both, dude. Phone hammer, phone hammer, phone hammer. They can't even get near me with the phone hammer. There's one over here, you missed. And I don't have a phone hammer. Oh, great.
great. They keep coming. It's like an infinite number. Running now. That, no, ma only, mainly because we uh, destroyed so many at once. Really? The rate's coming when we destroy these? Yes, that's what I said. Viewers, yeah, I was about to say. did I not say that they it's come so in droves every time you, uh... Holy crud, look at the color pop. They're like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna have to kill you now. You don't know what you did. Oh, jeez, I am going to, uh... What the hell is my healing? Oh, gosh. Right. Okay, is this. that all of them? I've gone all the way to the end and went down. Well, you probably should go all the way to the end and go up. Uh, and up? Really? And let me go very far up, that's for sure. Ah, looks like you got them all. Hey, because I went up and got it. That looks like it's everything. And we are at the ocean layer, as you can see from the background. Oops. Thank goodness there's like areas for me to get back up. I know I have the grappling hook, but still, it's nice to be able to do this to get back up. But be careful, you nearly broke the bridge. Yeah, I know. I'm switching back to the tight edge. Don't you love how they leave me behind, folks? <laughs> it's not my fault. Zero's supposed to be looking after you. <laughs> You're the one with the highest weapons in the game. So she can take care of herself, but she knows it. I don't know ah, what you're talking no. about. I'm trying to get a wyvern to show up. It's hard. Yeah, he's uh, right above us doing something on a floating island. That's I destroyed all the floating islands, if you'll recall. Oh gosh. What the? Good job. All right, I'm bored. Well, folks, they did in fact lower the wyvern spawn rate. Raining money! I, I saw like a flamethrower and something fall down. Probably uh, particles from the ice crystals that I was shooting. No, it was a rifle. And then it disappeared before I could do anything. And put that torch back. Put that torch back. What torch? You just took a torch off of the wall. Never mind. No, okay. I didn't. No. That's weird. It's still right there for us. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Your name was hiding it. Anyway, this is the Ocean's Edge outpost. And those are... Those are bog standard mummies. They give a slow debuff. What? Oh yeah, ant lines sometimes torches support sand. That makes him part of very elaborate sand traps for uh, multiplayer. Basically, if you take that torch, splat, nice. and that actually did damage to the uh, 
slime, so I'm kind of impressed by that. Oh, another Goblin Scout. The Goblin Army approaches. No! Don't tempt me. I've got some battle standards sitting around in one of my other maps. No, thank you. You know, the funny thing is, we can't get the hard mode, um, Goblin Army kind of thing anymore. Well, I could hack in a few snow globes if you were bold, if you were feeling bold. We just won't have Santa Claus. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> well, it says even if you have them, it won't summon them right now. It's all fairly true the way you said that. Well, we've done our part. Now, basically, the only thing we can so do at this... Base? Yep, we're going to go back to base. We're going to kill this uh, part. Okay, Why aren't we base? using our magic mirror? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and let me, let, me take, ahead, let me take the viewers here on a tour. Now, I've built yep, this sure. construction out of dungeon brick because of an enemy that I've mentioned before. The Clown. It's a hard mode enemy that occasionally shows up during Blood Moons. It throws bombs that it stole from the Demo Man, and they will destroy anything that is not dungeon brick. Ores, standard bricks, um, dirt, mud, anything that's not dungeon brick will break. And the bombs also harm NPCs, so the clown is basically the creeper of Terraria. Well, you also have glass up here. Well, monsters can't spawn on glass, so this area up here is safe. It's too high for the... Clowns can actually jump quite a ways, so it's important to have... If you're going to dig a pit... Not again. If you're going to dig a pit, you need to dig it deep so the clown can't jump out of it. Or, at the very least, jump up where it can throw bombs over the lip of the pit. And here we have the alchemy garden, flower statues, Chinese lanterns, a reservoir for water leaf and fire blossoms. You can clean yourself off in the water leaf tank if you want, but don't go into the fire blossom tank. Ouchies! <laughs> yeah. The whites. I've put demon statues and demon torches from the underworld over our central elevator. I've been meaning to put in a sign, but I don't know where to put it. Right there. Uh, there's a torch in the way, never mind. And we have our standard apartment complex. I've gotten colored torches for all of the uh, various NPCs. The uh, Daryl and Helen here get the same color because, well, they're a couple. We have the disco. We have the disco room. Sophia's ninky lights that she wanted so badly. Dars is over here with his uh, tinkerer's workshop instead of a dresser. And we have Cyril, the redeemed tailor. He insisted on the skeleton statue to remind him never to be tempted into becoming a uber-powerful demonic guardian of a giant underground structure again. Yes, I'm pulling... It'll I'm, be worse later. I'm pulling stuff out of my bum for this here. And this room is empty. <laughs> this room is empty, but... We're gonna have someone in here soon enough. We'll be meeting him eventually when we go digging for our hard mode ores. Um, we have the storeroom down below. Why is that torch there? I kept this room dark so NPCs wouldn't move in. Anyway, that is the tour. I have walls here to prevent monsters from spawning in between the structures. I probably should put walls up on top of the, uh, elevator structure just because of the fact they might spawn on top of the brick. Um, I think that's everything. Zero's yeah. got places to go. I need to process this video and I've got Skyrim to go back to. And 
and... Well, I'm gonna go, yeah, and I said I had time for two videos. Oh, you did? Well, that depends. Well, remember that these videos take a while to process. Anyway, we're going to save some time. I'm going to cut this video right. here. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. See ya.